It's Alexis Hasselberger, Time Management and Productivity Coach. Today, I want to share with you three simple ways that you can get tasks into TickTick with just a couple of clicks. So if you sometimes struggle to just get your tasks into TickTick as your task system, um, it feels like maybe there's a little friction there. I want to show you here three super easy ways that TickTick is allowing you to get tasks in there so you can do it with just a couple of clicks. Two of them are going to be about how to get it in from email and another one how to get it in from the web or your browser. So let's first go into email. If we go into my email here, you'll see that I have sent myself a test email. And you will also see that because I have installed the Gmail add-on for TickTick right here, now I have this nice little thing that says add to TickTick. So if I click this, now I get a little pop-up here that is going to allow me to directly add this into TickTick. Let's just put it on today. Why not? And then we're going to click OK. You'll see that whatever's in the body of the email is going to be in the description area. And the task name itself is going to be the, the subject of the email. Now, the really cool thing here is that it is creating a link directly to this email in the name of it here. So I'm going to click Add right now. And then we're going to, set, we're going to go over to the task list in just a second here. OK, it's been saved in there. Now I'm gonna go into my task list and look at, you see this immediately, this task is already in here. So now if I click on it over here, you're gonna see, yep, it's added to the body, the date has been added. And best of all, if I click this link right here, it is going to open up for me my email again. And this is gonna put a direct link to the email that was there. So if you have a thread going, you don't want to look for it later, there's documents maybe in here, whatever it is, that is going to open up for you automatically. Now I want to share with you another way that you can get emails into TickTick really easily uh, if you're not using Gmail. So you're not using that Gmail add-on because you don't have it, or maybe you're not using the Gmail add-on because uh, you're you know, IT people at work won't let you or whatever it is. Uh, but if you can't add that Gmail add-on, then you can also still do what's called email to task. So if you go into TickTick, you go into your settings, and then you go over here to calendar and mail, now you will see email here. And you'll see that if you are using a registered email, whatever you register your account with, you can just forward emails to to do at mail.tickTick.com. And that will automatically become a task in TickTick. Because TickTick does natural language parsing for dates, you can even just put the date right there in the heading and it'll know to put it on the right date. Now, if you're sending it from an unregistered email or somewhere else, then you'll see right here, I've, you know, I've blanked it out because it has my information in there, but you'll see that it'll be your unique email there. And that is an email that you can send from any email, registered or not. You just forward to that email and it creates a task in TickTick for you. Amazing. Now, I have one last way to show you that makes it really easy to get anything into TickTick, and this is to add the Chrome extension for TickTick. So you can see I already have it installed, but I'm going to go ahead and put a link to it below so that you can grab it if you don't have it. But you'll see now up here in my extensions, I can click on TickTick, and that opens up just a little TickTick window for me here. And you'll see that it has all my tasks in here. It's just a little a zoom out window that is here. I can add things, I can check things, I can do whatever I need to do from here, I can search. It's all there, it's a little widget. So this is really nice because that means you don't need to have the browser, you know, you don't need to have a tab open all the time for TickTick. You can just add things or search directly from your browser. So I am going to add uh, that link down below, but I just wanted to share with you these three really easy ways that you can reduce friction and make sure that you're capturing all your tasks in a way that makes sense and is super easy. Hey guys, it's Arlie here. I just want to quickly tell you to like and subscribe. Only a small percentage of our viewers are actually subscribed and um, we get a lot of viewers from these um, TikTok videos and it'd just be a big help if you subscribed. And even if you think you're subscribed, you might not be, so just checking is enough.